Are devastating weather events something we have to get used to? Is this the new normal? Justin Mitchell tackles these questions. Hurricane Sandy was a wake-up call. That's a wind gust right there. Whoa! There was, a, there was a reality that has existed for a long time that we have been blind to. And that is climate change, extreme weather, call it what you will, and our vulnerability to it. For the people of New York, this felt like a turning point. People like to live in low-lying areas, particularly by the ocean, and uh, we believe that we can protect ourselves from these kinds of storms, probably in some un unrealistic ways. In the hardest hit areas of the city, residents have been forced to realize that preparing for a storm is more than buying flashlights and bottled water. For them, this means a change in their entire view of where and how they live. I don't know, I think it's just the atmosphere, <laughs> the pollution and just the time changing. Yeah, that's what I really think. And just for us having this hurricane, I think the next one is going to be even more devastating and people need to take it more seriously. You know, they talk about these times in the Bible. You know, the, uh, the North Pole warming up is so hot, you know, water rise and the sea levels going to rise. These coming generations, they're going to have, you know, problems. Andrew Friedman is senior science writer at Climate Central, a climate change information website. This was a freak weather event that was kind of supercharged in some senses by climate change. As Sandy made its way up the coast, two major weather systems got in its path. One high pressure area over Greenland stopped it from moving east, while another cold front in the Midwest pulled Sandy towards it. But that does not mean that climate change did not contribute to the catastrophe. Over time, the water temperature in the Atlantic has risen. Warm water fuels hurricanes like gasoline fuels a fire. The storm sucks up the extra water vapor and turns it into even more rain. The water levels around New York and New Jersey and worldwide have also risen in the last century. This increases the chance of flooding. It gives hurricanes a, a higher launching pad to launch a surge from. It's sort of like if you just, if you just slowly raise the floor of a basketball court so that even the short players are able to dunk all of a sudden. Storms come and go for a variety of reasons, but the inescapable lesson of Sandy is that when they do hit, their impact could be much worse than in the past. And as climate change continues, that will be true to an ever higher degree. We've known for a very long time that this area is pretty vulnerable and that with certain climate change related effects, that's only going to magnify the risk as we go forward. In New York City, we can no longer pretend we are not in danger. Other storms will find their way here. When they do, will we be ready? For 219 West, this is Justin Mitchell.